Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me for this read along. Uh, we're reading my book, Live Responsibly, Die Thoughtfully, How to Navigate the Rest of Your Life with Intention and Grace. So just a few things before we start. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, for buying this book. Uh, it is such an honor to be able to share my story with you and hopefully inspire you. And the uh, format for these conversations, well, actually it's a talk and you, we will have a chance for conversations in a live event later. But uh, every week I will be doing a, each chapter and talk about what's in it. Uh, please feel free to respond in the comments on this YouTube video. And if you have questions, put those in the comment at comments as well. Uh, so, and I will definitely respond to those as available and invite your friends, your family members to my YouTube channel. They um, would love to have more people um, access this information content and get to know how to talk about this uh, kind of awkward subject, how to talk about dying and death. But actually, as you will find out, it's all about living our lives fully. So this uh, series is gonna be six weeks long and I will talk for 10, 15 minutes and cover each chapter. And then we will um, gather either on per in person on Bainbridge Island or online. Uh, the in-person one is on S Saturday, October 19th, 2 p.m. The online version will be Sunday the 20th, at, also at 2 p.m. Pacific. And so we'll, I'll be sending out more information on those events. And so before we start, uh, there is this little piece called Before We Start. And in that, there's a website um, the, where you can access my quiz. And that will give you an idea of where you are in terms of your openness to having these kinds of conversations, your preparedness. Um, so that's www.livingresponsiblyroadmap.com. And you just click on the link and uh, you will get the form to fill out to get that quiz. And I would love to discuss your answers with you. There is an opportunity to book a call with me one-on-one -on -one, and we can talk about your answers. So let's do that. All right. So the main point of this book is to show the contrast between, well, of the introduction, especially the contrast between how I felt when my mom died versus how I felt when my dad died. Uh, when my mom died, it was so sudden. We hadn't had the conversations. Um, I'm smiling just because she was so special. She is so special to me. Um, and when I tell this story, I am grateful to her, right? And I start the chap the, that chapter, my mom died irresponsibly, but I don't blame her. I, it was the circumstances. We didn't have the knowledge that we have now in my family. And so we had that strong hope that she would recover, but she ended up not. And so the, the shock, the grief, but on top of that, the discord among me and my sisters, our inability to help our dad through this awful situation. Um, that was really the point of, of sharing that part of the story. And then I go into um, how we felt after our dad died. And all I can say is it was peace, peace of mind, peaceful. And that's because we had had the conversations we had done the work. He knew what his quality of life markers were. He knew when uh, he was ready to um, make decisions. He ended up choosing to stop eating and drinking. I don't share that in the book, but uh, that's actually at age 86, he chose to, um, he was really weak, really in tons of pain, but that's how he ended up choosing to die. And we were actually okay on board with that. We had support of a death doula. We had hospice. He was in assisted living. Um, and so, yeah, it can be a shock to hear that. But that's how it played out. That was his roadmap. 
so in this chapter, I introduce my Living Responsibly Roadmap, and that is the four steps to get to the place where you can live your life fully. We have this one wild and precious life, as Mary Oliver so famously said. And you can't get there, though, until you have done the work to, uh, in steps one and two, to acknowledge that death happens, acknowledge that it's going to happen to each one of us. And some of us are there, some of us might think we're there, but not everybody is there. Um, so hopefully we all have some time still in our lives and why not live that life fully? And looking at the, our lives through the lens of the end of it is one way to do that. And when we bring that energy of, yes, I'm, I know that I'm mortal. I know that the, there will be an end to this. It kind of lights a fire <laughs> under us sometimes. Um, I'm working with a wonderful client who um, just, she's in her seventies and she is choosing to change her energy to be the person that she really wants to be at this point in her life to take charge, to drive the train. And uh, so it's so inspiring to, to work with clients like that. And uh, so the roadmap is not only for yourself though, it's also to alleviate suffering in those that you care about. And with my dad, we, you know, we had all those decisions made. We knew what he wanted for his memorial service. We knew what he wanted um, for the actual end of life. And we were able to provide that. And it was really just such a gift to us um, to, to have that in place. And so that's what I call dying thoughtfully is to take care of your affairs now. Um, there's a part, paid, part on page 10 where I talk about adding end of life conversations to uh, high school biology classes where we talk about beginning of life conversations but um, and sex ed and all that. But yeah, that's, that's a dream for the future. Um, so then, I talk about the four steps in this book, and then I mention my experience piece of mind now program. And that is my one-on-one -on -one or with families or partners where we go through the checklist that I mentioned. It's checklist is not in this book. Uh, and so if you want to get on a one-on-one -on -one call to talk about that, let's do it. Send me a, a link, send me a comment, send me an email, um, johanna at johannamunson.com. So back to the book, um, yes, page 12. Here are some questions for you to ponder. Who am I when I have to let go of doing, right? When as we age, we have to stop doing certain things at some point, we might have to stop driving. We might have to stop managing our own financial affairs and that can be challenging. That can really hit at the heart of who we think we are. Um, so think about that. Next question, how can I prepare so that I'm ready when that time comes? Right? Our ego often gets in the way of doing this work. So letting go of ego is a big factor. And lastly, what if I'm scared? Well, yeah, of course we're scared. Our brain is primed to keep us alive and the thought of not being around, not being alive is pretty scary for most of us. So think about those questions during the next week and uh, we will dive into the uh, next chapter, which is the Living Responsibly Roadmap. And I invite you to, yeah, take responsibility for your life and your eventual death. And that is the way that you will best be able to blossom fully in the time that you have left. So next week we will look at pages 15 to 27. Uh, please join me again. Share this video if you have family members or friends who you know would benefit from hearing this information. I've had people say they bought copies of the book and handed them out to their family and friends. So, oh, I just love hearing that. Thank you so, so much. And I will be back next Thursday to talk about the next chapter, Living Responsibly Roadmap. See you then.